and uh, this is James Com reporting from Williamsburg. We are on North Fifth at the uh, Kappa Kessling Gallery, and uh, for today's report, I'm going to talk with uh, David Kesting about an exhibition of uh, a friend of his, Lincoln Kappa, who passed away what about a year ago, right? Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about the show and the uh, the gallery and the things that you've done here, some of the uh, other activities you've done, organizing Fountain and some of those things. Sure. Um, uh, well, Lincoln Kaplan produced these pieces uh, Untitled Path to Glory, I think, are the, some of the big pieces. What was the title of the series? Untitled Path to Glory. Uh, so, uh, okay. One, two, and three. There's actually several pieces in the series. That we're Untitled about. Path to Glory. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, he uh, helped, actually really founded the gallery in 2003. Uh, we and we're here in a little garage, right? On, uh, yeah. North 5th off Roebling? Yeah, it's uh, 121 Roebling. It's actually on North 5th. I always considered the av this the Avant Garage. So. Uh, yeah, so uh, Lincoln found this space in 2003, and we'd always talk about, like, you know, they're not like a gallery spot. And uh, he approached me with the idea, and uh, it just seemed like a wonderful film. So uh, we produced like a handful of first shows, like uh, that had our first year. And, uh, and repeated the same success like the next year. And uh, then in December of 2005, we all went to John, later our director, uh, Lincoln and I all went to Miami, spent some time out there, where we spawned the idea of uh, doing an exhibition for, um, for the Armory Show. Um, and uh, security space out by the Armory Show. Uh, right this is there. the Armory here in New York? Yeah, the Armory here in New York. Uh, That's right, and you like you know like Miami like art Basel seem to like change the focus of like exactly what art fairs are. You know? That's right. It sort of made everybody consider the art fairs the new uh, the venue for where all the real yeah yeah interesting action was taking place in the art world. Seemed like that. So uh, so we put together that exhibition and it worked out pretty well. You know, uh, we had a lot of visitors come out for it. Now this was you know, right across. This was right across from the pier there yeah. where. The Armory Fair was, in certain ways, you guys were sort of an in-your-face kind of uh, upstart uh, underground guerrilla art fair, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess it's like a snow idea, you know. But and the, the title of the, the title of the show is uh, Fountain, Fountain in yeah, Fountain, New York. in armor in honor of uh, Marcel Duchamp's uh, Dadaist piece, the Fountain that he produced for the uh, Independent Artist Exhibition in 1917, which was a a urinal with the uh, H. Mutt signed on it. So, um, so that went over really well. Uh, unfortunately, it went over very well. Like at the same time that Lincoln was diagnosed with cancer, uh, and uh, spent the remainder of his life about six weeks in, in uh, Tampa. I, I know that was very fast. Yeah. It was How old was he when he when he so passed 35. away? Thirty-five. And you know he wasn't really like a big smoker or anything like that. I mean it was. I mean it is like a trash. Uh, yes, it was. Happy to have, uh, to have something to like a short like that. But uh, so uh, after that, you know, we we try to keep together the uh, to go uh, to one side with our parents and to try to bring more attention to the Williamsburg galleries and the scene here. The scene here. Yeah, I always I always love the fact that uh, you guys are sort of uh, pulling for the underdogs, pulling for the uh, the kids that are sort of outside the mainstream that. Uh, you know, you're knocking at the door, or you're trying to get beyond the velvet ropes, but they're not letting you in. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that the work out here, yeah, I guess it is like an underdog, you know, I mean, we obviously don't have the same resources that other neighborhoods do, but I think that, in hindsight, it will be seen that, that what's going on here in this neighborhood is really the, the, the last of time days for, uh, for, for this culture that we have. Well, I would hope so. I mean, I I get more excited about New York than anywhere else. And I know Lincoln was the same way. Um, so we waited about uh, about a year, uh, putting together a couple of exhibitions. We had some of the Lincoln's pieces in Los Angeles, and then in Miami, uh, and then back here in New York. Uh, and uh, we produced this this first exhibition of uh, these pieces uh, for April this year. Uh, which is, I mean, it is the anniversary of Seth I mean, a little bit of time was spent on that, but I think the idea about this is try to just, you know, focus more on the art that he produced 
you know, uh, and not not so much like his past. But he actually has a pretty substantial substantial body of work. And have you guys have you ca cataloged all of his work and all that not stuff? All. We've been working pretty hard to try to catalog a lot of it, but it's really time consuming. I, I think we have a pretty decent database of it right now. We're working to get that database online. We take this piece of Chicago and walk some stuff. No matter what you're doing in your life, you're constantly moving forward and constantly going forward. And at some point in time, you come to a door and you have to walk through that door to see what is on the other side. And that's supposed to be, well, I mean, in this conversation, like that, that's supposed to be symbolic of what life that is. Well, anyway, so we're here, we're talking with uh, David Kesting about uh, the work of Linka Kappa. And uh, this is kind of a memorial show. And uh, so we'd invite anybody to come in and see it. It's open until. Uh, Le when? 30th? May sometime? April 30th? April 30th. Okay. So anyway, we're here at Kaplan Kessling Gallery. This is James Calm reporting on the Lincoln Kappa Show. Thanks.